This tutorial will demonstrate how to perform a transfer of inventory from one site to another. For clinics that have multiple locations or maintain separate medication cabinets for each provider, on occasion it may become necessary to transfer inventory from one site to the next. This is often referred to as a pod move or simply a transfer of inventory. To do this, you will need to perform an inventory adjustment on the site that is removing the medication from their inventory and then add that same inventory to the site that will be receiving the medication. The first step is to go to the site with the inventory that needs to be removed. So with my demo account here, my site ID, I'm going to log in and then go over to inventory and click on medications. Here, you're going to locate the lot number of the medication that you're going to be removing. So we'll use benzonitate as an example. And you're going to click the edit option next to the medication. In the containers field, this is the total number of units or bottles that you have on hand. You're going to enter the amount that is going to be left over. So if we were transferring all nine of these bottles, then we would just simply put zero because none would remain at this site. Anytime you make an inventory adjustment, you have to provide a reason for why you're changing the total containers. So in our case, you could choose pod move, or if you select other, you can type in your own custom response, something like transfer to site A from site B. And when you click Submit, the medication will be removed. So you no longer see our benzonitate. And all of that information is going to be stored in the report section. Anytime you do an inventory adjustment, it is recorded so that you always have that information available if you ever need to retrieve it. So to transfer that same inventory we just removed to the next site, we'll want to make sure that we get all the information that we'll need to enter it. So to do that, we're going to go over to the report section in the menu. We're going to click on instant and then locate the inventory adjustments report. Since we made the adjustment today, we can just click Submit for today, and it shows you all of the information, including the NDC number, the lot number, the expiration date, because this is the information that we'll need when we load it into the next site. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this information. And now we'll go to our second site that is going to be receiving this medication. So I can either click up here to access my list of other sites I have available to me, or you can log out and log back in using the site ID number of the one you want to transfer to. So since I'm in site 68709, that was our demo, that's where we removed the med, I'm going to go into site 27531, that's our site that's going to be receiving the med. And now I'll go over to inventory, medications. And this time, instead of editing something, we're going to add the inventory. So it's here with all that information that you copied from the report, you're going to enter the NDC number click Submit, and then you'll fill out the rest of the information that's missing. So in this case, the total containers. So in our other site, we removed nine. So this site is going to be receiving all nine of those bottles. We're going to enter the lot number, our expiration date, And if you have the cost or the price info, you can enter it. It is optional, but it can be entered there. 
The reference NDC is important if you are doing workers' comp claims, because this is usually the one that they'll use to submit the claim, or if it's a controlled medication, uh, because the PDMP reports require that information. When you're satisfied, you just click Submit. Oops, I need to enter my barcode. And now you can see that benzonidate, all nine bottles from that lot number, were added into the inventory.